Let's add the fractions 1 half plus 3 fifths. And when we're done, I'll show you a quick trick to check your work. When we're adding fractions, we need to get the denominator, the number on the bottom, to be the same. We need a common denominator. I know that 2 goes into 10 and 5 goes into 10 evenly. So I'm going to multiply this side here by 5 over 5. 5 divided by 5, that's just 1. So I don't change the value, just how it's represented. But now I have 5 times 1, that's the numerator. And on the bottom, 5 times 2, I have 10 is my denominator. Over here, I'm going to multiply 5 times 2. And I have to multiply the top as well. 2 over 2, if you divide 2 by 2, that's just 1. So we haven't changed the value. So 2 times the 3, that's 6. 2 times the 5, that gives you 10. And now we can just add these together. 5 plus 6 is 11. And then we bring the 10 across. 11 tenths. So 1 half plus 3 fifth, that's 11 tenths. This is an improper fraction because the 11 is bigger than the 10. We can change this to a mixed fraction as well. Let's do that. So 10 goes into 11 just one time with one left over. So we can call this 1 and 1 tenth. And you can check that 1 times 10, that's 10. 10 plus 1, that's 11, so 11 tenths. So in answer to our question, 1 half plus 3 fifths is 11 tenths, or you could call it 1 and 1 tenth. Let's quickly check our work. So I can multiply 1 times 5 here. That gives me 5 plus 2 times 3. That gives me 6. That's my numerator. For my denominator, multiply 2 times 5. And that gives me 10. And I end up with 11 tenths again. Or you could call it 1 and 1 tenths. So that's it. That's how you add 1 half plus 3 fifths. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.